Hiya, today I'd like to take you through the Venetian composition collection from Tattered Lace and in particular I'd like to show you how we can actually use the floral composition die set which is included within this fantastic collection. Now this really versatile die set actually allows us to create our own different compositions of flowers just as the name suggests. So basically we can pretty much be our own florist so we can create whatever sort of compositions of flowers that we would like. In order to do this, this die set actually uses our link system. So as you can see, we've got these different notches within the dies. And as you can see within this die set, we've got lots and lots of different dies. So there's lots of options of how you can actually build up your own compositions of flowers. So it gives you complete versatility when you're crafting. Whether that be making cards, home decor projects, gift tags or anything at all, you've got so many different options with this die set of creating your own floral displays. So within the collection, within the uh, Venetian Compositions collection from Tattered Lace, we've also got USB. And within this USB, in addition to lots of different backing papers, we've also got some Charisma designs. Now there are six different floral compositions within the USB. So six different types of Charisma. And these are just really the tip of the iceberg. Just a little bit of something to get you started with your floral compositions. And of course you can sort of break free from that and build your own compositions. But we have given you six different designs just to get you started. And I've printed one of these designs out onto Pro Paper here. And as you can see, we've got that gorgeous colouring on there. Now I'd like to show you how we can actually use the dies to cut this out. As you can see, we don't have a die that's that exact size and shape of that floral display. And this is the beauty of this die collection. You actually get lots of individual separate dies that you link together using this link system to build up your own different compositions of flowers. Now in order to cut this design, as you can see, we've actually got some letters on the charisma and these correspond to letters that are actually on the die themselves. So it makes it really easy. It's almost like a jigsaw, just matching up the letters, building up the dies, running them through your machine and getting your gorgeous floral displays. So as you can see, in order to cut this design, I need to take this die first. And I'm just going to lay these out for you here, but you would be taping these down, of course, before you run them through your die cutting machine so that they don't move. So that's sort of the main body of this little display here. Then we can see we've got a letter A on this part of the design. So picking up this die, which is A, it's labelled on the die, and just using that link system, it will just slot into place. And then all you do is you take some low tack tape and just tape that down. Do the same with the leaf, we can see it's labelled with B. You'd slide that into position and you can see it just locks into position so it fits quite snugly. Tape that down and keep going round, adding all your dies into your little bit of charisma here, your composition. Taping each piece down, building up the design. So you can see we started with individual, fairly small dies and we've built up this whole composition here. So what you'd be doing next is you'd be adding your low tack tape all over that design so it was nice and secure. You'd be running that through your die cutting machine, whether that be an electronic machine, like your Pro Cut from Kit and Caboodle, or a um, size permitting hand crank machine. And when that comes out of the other side of the machine and you've removed your dies, you get this. So as you can see, it actually stays within the cardstock. Now that gives us options. So we can leave our design in our cardstock and if we used um, a coloured card rather than Charisma, that would make a really nice design feature. If we just got our pokey tool and just lifted up some of the design, so just shaping some of the leaves like so, leaving them in the cardstock, so we're not releasing them from the cardstock, but we are just shaping them and moving them to give them a little bit of dimension. So that's one option. Our second option is we can actually just connect the lines that the die has given us, the cut lines, in order to actually release this floral composition from our piece of cardstock. So all you need to do very easily is just take a small pair of scissors and just connect those cut lines there to just to snip the design out. And that will give you a die cut that's released from your card and you can use it in whatever way you like. So just go around and connect those cut lines to release the design from your cardstock and as you can see we've started to release that design already. 
You could also be doing some interesting effects where you perhaps released half of the design. So that half was free and left the other half in your car stock and just shaped that half. And that would give you a really interesting effect as well. But if you went round and snipped the whole design out of your card, that's the sort of design you can be getting. So using the link system with these fabulous floral composition dies, building up your own compositions, running them through your die cutting machine and snipping them out, that's the sort of effect you can create with this die set. But of course that's very, very much just scratching the surface. There's so much you can do with this set. You really can be your own florist with this floral composition die set from Tattered Lace.